Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This episode is about how to convert these to this. Before I begin, I want to ask you a favor. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and push the ring to get notification as soon as new episode has been uploaded. As I mentioned before, I am planning to convert my Iranian driving license to German driving license. According to the German law, if you want to live in Germany more than six months and you want to drive in Germany, you have to have a valid German driving license. For example, if you want to move into Germany and planning for a stay more than six months from January 2020 till June 2020 you are able to drive with your driving license but in a seventh month if you want to drive you have to have a valid German driving license. In this episode I'm gonna tell you eight steps that helps you to convert your driving license and how much does it cost because cost is so important. Step number one, translate your driving license. It doesn't matter where are you from. Are you Canadian, American, from Arab country or Iran? It doesn't matter. You have to translate your driving license to German. I put some information below that might be useful. For me, translation cost around 25 euro because I found a local translator that helped me to uh, translate my driving license. Step number two, you have to attend to eight hours first aid class and vision test. It sounds boring, believe me, it is boring, but I kind of understand the logic behind this law and respect of law is our priority. That first aid for me costed 25 euro and a day and it was so long. Step three. This step is one of the most important step that you have to do it carefully. You have to find a school. After you finish your first aid class and vision test, you have to find a school and sign an initial contract with them. For this step, you have to search. You have to ask so many schools because in Germany, there is so many different uh, school and you're gonna hear so many different uh, numbers. For example, I've, I've been in a school that told me because your driving license is from Iran, you have to pay 50 euro more that around 150 euro or one school said no our uh, initial contract will be 250 euro a person introduced me in a cheap school that costed me for initial contract 80 euro that's a that's so cheap a city like Dusseldorf Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, these information I'm telling you, it depends on your city, your state. I live in Dusseldorf, so I'm, I can give you information from Dusseldorf. Maybe in another city is cheaper, maybe in another city is more expensive. You have to look it. After you signed an initial contract with your school, you can ask them about application for theoretical exam. We're gonna talk about it later. Step number four, apply your document to Straßenverkehrsamt or traffic road uh, office. In this step, you need to hand over your first aid certificate that say you are successfully passed the day that sounds funny. Your vision test, one passport size photo, and your driving license translation, and two key information. One, in what language you want to do theoretical exam. In Germany, you can do 
theoretical exam in 16 language. That's great. Two, the name of the school. If you skip step three, you have to give them a random name, which I did, and that would cost you stress, believe me. For this uh, process in Dusseldorf, you have to pay 43 euro and 40 cents. If you pay with EC card, and if you wanna pay cash, you're gonna pay one euro more. After two or three weeks, you're gonna receive a letter like this. Actually, it's, it's gonna be two form like this. One for theoretical exam, one for practical exam. Step number five. I recommend you, after you sign an initial contract, till that letter come, study this question. It gives around 1,150 questions and you have to study them, you have to basically memorize them. Because you're converting your driving license, that's called Umschreibung, you don't need to attend to the class. You, you're gonna go to a place and do, a, do that exam on computer immediately they're gonna give you a result. These exams will cost you around 22 euro and 50 cents. Step number six, practice in a city. After you luckily pass the exam, you have to go back to your school and tell them I am able to do a practical exam. You're gonna book hours for practice into the city, Go driving around, an instructor would tell you uh, how to drive in street in Germany. How good you are, how long you need to do this practice, someone need more hours, someone need less hours. This is the main cost of your conversion. For some person, if you're bad at driving, that's gonna cost you a lot. If you're good at driving, it's gonna reduce your cost. This school I attended, for every hour, they take 37 euro. Plus, at the last day, they're gonna give you a, like, a, like a certificate. It's not gonna be certificate, it's gonna say you, you just did these hours. Alone, this paper will cost you 90 euro. For me, that's six hours plus 90 is 312. I think I did another half an hour, so totally costed me 335 euro. Step number seven, practical exam. Your instructor will sit beside you, the examiner sit behind you and he will tell you drive, somewhere, do something, park, go to the highway and etc. They're not gonna talk. After you arrive in your destination, they're gonna give you a result. In money side, you have to pay 91 euro and 75 cents. If you pass all of this, congratulations. You pass your exam and you are able to convert your driving license. But in case you fail, you have to do that step again. For example, if you pass the theoretical exam, but you fail the practical exam, you have to pay for your hours. It's up to your instructor. You have to pay that 90 euro for that paper that said you did it, do you remember? And 91 euro 75 cents again. So failing in this kind of exam would cost you a lot. But after you receive a Bestätigung, that's a, you are qualified to get a German driving license, they will send you to a road traffic office or Straßenverkehrsamt to pick up your driving license. Remember, you have to have two documents with yourself when you're going to Straßenverkehrsamt. One, your ID card, and second, you have to hand over your previous driving license. Don't make my mistake because I didn't know I have to bring my uh, driving license, and they told me, yeah, come back later when you have it. That's it. It's not that hard, it's not that easy. If you have a good plan, you have to uh, do step by step, 
everything goes well, you're gonna do it in two or three months. For me, it took around six months because I had to wait two months for these uh, hours. And yeah, I was a little bit lazy to study. That took two months for studying them. Basically, that took a long time. But luckily, that costed me around 653 euro and 65 cents, not more. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, if it was helpful, please don't be shy and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, push the notification bell and write me. What do you think? I'm going to make more video about how to live in Germany beside those travel video like always. Thank you so much and have a good day. Adios, amigos.